What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. On our quest to 100,000 subscribers, we were less than 12, or about 1,200 subscribers away. Let's be honest, 1,200 exactly pretty much at this point. So if you're not subscribed, the quicker we get there, the quicker we get this big 100,000 subscriber giveaway going guys so make sure you're subscribed it's great for you it's great for me and i will give you a virtual hug so let's get into the tech news because we have a lot of tech news not really two stories a bunch of questions though but the two stories are really really important so let's just dive into that first the first story of the day is about the galaxy s 22 ultra charging speeds now as you know it it is compatible with a 45 watt charger from samsung we've heard relatively good things about the 45 watt charging for the most part and i will say that it is faster than the 25 watt charger but you know what at least in this newest test not by much now this test was completed by sammobile.com and they wrote an article about this and again it's not very impressive so to start off they hit the 20 minute mark and the s22 ultra was charged uh, to 45 percent with the 45 watt charger and 39 percent with the 25 watt charger. Okay, great, not too bad, 20 minutes, you know, you're getting 6% more. After half an hour, the difference with the two chargers was merely 7%, meaning that the 45 watt charger was a little bit faster. And then from zero to 100, the charging time difference was only four minutes faster with the 45 watt charger. And you gotta think to yourself, if I already have one of these 25 watt chargers, Maybe I'll just stick with that because seemingly there's not a big difference at all, at least in their test. You know, I've seen other tests where it's been 10 or 15 minute differences or at least uh, information that was leaked out. That's what it was. So it begs the question, you know, at the end of the day, if I have to buy a charger, maybe I'll just save a little bit of money and get the 25 watt one. Or if I'm not going to buy a charger, but I know I can buy the 45 watt charger, maybe I'll bypass it. Four minutes really isn't a big deal from zero to 100. And even if it was, you know, maybe maybe if you were only charging 20 minutes or 30 minutes, a four to a four to seven percent, the six to seven percent difference really again isn't that big a deal. Is it fifty dollars more big a deal? Probably not. And I'll be curious to try this on my own. But from this test, it's not very impressive. It is faster, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Next up is about the Galaxy Z Fold 4 phone. Yesterday we talked about the S Pen being built into the phone. We also talked about the display sizes on this uh, being about 7.56 inches on this display. And then on the outside display, you're looking at 6.19 inches, which is a little bit smaller than the 6.23 inches. Now, I wanna talk about two things about this. First of all, battery size and also the display on the outside. So. Having a smaller display, 6.19 inches, there's rumors that because it's smaller, it's actually gonna be wider. Now, how much wider is it gonna be? I can't imagine it's gonna be all that much wider if it's that much smaller. I mean, we'll wait and see, and I hope it is much wider. It's obviously not gonna be as tall, but if it's substantially wider, I think I'll be much happier. But I don't think it's going to be that much wider. I think it'll be a little bit wider, seemingly from what the rumors are saying uh, with the new phone for the Galaxy Z Fold 4. The other part of this is since there is S Pen integration on the Z Fold 4, the rumors or what Ice Universe is saying is that the battery is going to be smaller. And I have to admit the battery life is already horrendous with the Z Fold 3. So check this tweet out from Ice Universe who goes on to say, that the built-in S Pen will make the Fold 4's battery only 4,000 milliamps. Is this what you want to see? And no, it's not what I want to see. I want better battery life. And I mean, theoretically, you potentially could get better battery life with a smaller battery if you had like amazing optimization in a phone. You look at something like an iPhone, which doesn't have a, a, as big a battery as some other phones, and sometimes they get even better battery life than phones with much bigger batteries. But Apples to apples on Android, especially on the Samsung side. If you get a smaller battery, you usually get worse, worse, you know, battery life. And uh, I am not looking forward 
to this potentially happening. If it's really gonna have a 4,000 milliamp battery, I'd rather not have the S Pen. And then, to be honest with you, I wouldn't want the S Pen anyway, because I probably won't even use it. I would want it more so because you guys want it, or a lot of you guys want it, and that's the real true reason. But it begs the question, guys, what do you think about this? Would this stop you from buying the Z Fold 4 if you're potentially going to buy it? Because the battery is going to be smaller. You might be looking at less battery life already. And I can't even imagine it getting, you know, worse than what it is on this phone. It's scary to think about. So that is your question of the day. With that said, let's jump to the Q&A portion of the video and drop that. Where do I wait, team people? I want to pre-order it now. Should I pay by PayBright or what? I don't want to buy it all at once. I don't know much about PayBright. I think you've asked multiple times. If you want to do it, go ahead and do it. I, I, I don't know much about PayBright. It seems okay. I don't think you're gonna pay all at once. They seem like they work it into a payment system. Just make sure you're getting a 0% interest loan through them. Wrecked Brewery, do you recommend putting a screen protector on the S22 Ultra, even though we get the strong Gorilla Glass Victus? If so, would you recommend the film or the glass versions? I've heard great things about white stone protectors and I'm thinking this is a good investment. Yeah, I, if I were you, if I was gonna get a glass one, I, I'll get one, I would get a glass one. I guess I'd give my answer away right there. Uh, it's gonna, the, the film one's really only gonna protect you against scratches not breaks for the most part, so I would go with the glass one. Bagoon at 20, it seems like my phone started acting like yours. My Z Fold 3 is taking a while to switch back for either the portrait or landscape option. What did you have to do to fix your own issue? Well, the latest update that I got fixed that issue, so I'm not having those uh, auto rotation issues anymore. So I didn't do anything except, to, except the update from Samsung. Dave says, I heard you talking about the Z Flip 4 and it doesn't sound like Samsung is going to do much to improve it. Do you think that the battery will be at least better? If not, I don't know why anyone would buy it. Also, what does Samsung do with all those trade-ins they get? Can't believe they sell all of them. Good questions, Dave. So uh, with the trade-ins, what they do with those is they usually sell them to a, or most companies do, they give them to a wholesaler and then the wholesaler sells them on their own individually. And that's usually how those things go. Uh, as for the Z Flip 4, yeah, I, I think what you're gonna see for the most part with the Z Flip 4 and Z Fold 4 is a lot of the same and they're gonna try to get those prices down. I think that's the big point. They, wanna, they don't want you to think of the Z Fold flips and fours is completely out of reach even though the z flip three is now in a great price range i think they'll probably get it even lower potentially maybe by 100 bucks or something uh so yeah it, i think the battery life won't be bigger i would have to guess or if it is it's gonna be very very marginally bigger silent runner speaks if you don't need the s pen would you go for the s22 ultra or the, or the 22 plus 200 difference doesn't seem like that covers much outside of the pen thoughts i mean i'm i'm probably a bad person to ask because personally I would always want the best phone I could get, especially at this point in life where I can afford it. Um, but I think for most people, the 22 plus is probably completely fine with what you want and need. But if beyond the S Pen, you're getting a bigger battery on the 22 Ultra. You're getting a better display because it's a higher resolution, but you might probably won't even be able to tell the difference. You're getting uh, better cameras as well on the 22 Ultra, at least on paper. Um, so there are things to, to uh, on a surface level to, to choose from that are better on the 22 Ultra. It's really, if $200 isn't a big deal to you, and plus the screen's bigger. Uh, I would go 22 Ultra if it doesn't hurt you financially. Otherwise, if you're looking to save 200 bucks, get the plus. Emily Acevedo again said, someone had left the question why Samsung does not take the money as soon as they place the order, and you said the money is taken when it's shipped. In my case, Samsung took the money out of my account when I pre-ordered the tab I said Ultra on February 10th. Yeah, they usually take the money right then and there, but then what happens is they usually reverse the transaction. It's usually just a temporary hold for whatever, few days or whatever, and then it usually comes off. So it should come off until they actually fully ship it. James Cray Hall says, do you think a proper aspect ratio on the Pixel Fold would tempt people away from the Z Fold 3 4? Because personally, if the aspect ratio is a standard phone, but bigger, I'm jumping on it. Give us a bigger 16 by nine on the front and middle. This NAF aspect ratio means videos play with massive black bars, which I think might as well have a normal phone and have some money. What do you think? Yeah, I think the, what it's gonna happen is, I, that's one of the rumors is that the Pixel Fold should have aspect ratios that are more compatible with more apps and not maybe look so weird. 
And I think beyond that, that's probably why they are also going to have the prices be lower because they want people to actually buy the device and, and not get turned off by that. And then, you know, they're trying to compete against that, that Fold 3 and Fold 4. I don't think it's gonna be standard phone edition, the, the sizes, but I think ultimately it'll be closer to things that are, are a little bit more standard. And then also with the inclusion of Android 12L, which is supposed to bring a lot of those weird aspect ratios for these folding displays more in line with how the, the displays look. I think that'll also help as well. And our last question comes from Raider FPV on some of your videos showing the Tab S8 Ultra. There's a lot of pink wavy lines and the screen looks a little distorted, especially compared side by side with the iPad. Do you think that's just something to do with the camera they're using or should we be concerned with the screen? I've never seen it before like this on the S7 Plus, so I'm concerned and I've already pre-ordered the Ultra. So no, I don't think it's anything to be concerned with. I think what it's probably should be more so the camera causing that issue. I know it's happened to me with some phones that I have. It's usually, um, I'm not an expert with cameras. It has something to do with the lighting that's going on and then, uh, at least for what I know, <laughs> the lighting and how fast, fast the camera's reading the screen, the, the display on the camera. I'm mean, the camera's reading the, the, the lighting and all that stuff. It, it has something to do with that, um, usually. So I wouldn't worry about it. I don't think it's gonna have pink wavy lines in real life. So I don't think you need to worry about that. It should be just the camera's issue. So there you guys go. That is your questions for today and the news. Don't forget to subscribe. Again, we're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. You guys did seriously even better yesterday than you did the day before. So thank you so much. And then also beyond that, uh, we got the giveaway going on still. So if you want to enter the giveaway, or even if you did enter, you can still do daily giveaways to get even more chances to win. So that is linked down below. And that's right now. That's our, uh, what, February giveaway. And I think we're going to do another one next month. You might even have two next month because of the fact that I'll be, probably, I'll be hitting 100,000. So there you guys go. That is your news for today. Thanks so much. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road.